Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sandra with Trading Made Simple, and today I have some great content. So on Friday, I was uh, looking at some tweets, and Rich had sent out from Trading Wars some content and gave a screenshot of his, I believe it's Trading View or something, uh, platform. And a lot of these other platforms have this risk to reward calculator, and that's what I was focusing on. And I was just really bummed out that uh, Thinkorswim doesn't have this readily available, and I have no idea why, seriously. But in any event, so I made it my mission, and I uh, contacted Rich, and he was uh, gracious to send me some info. If you haven't checked out Rich's strategies on trading wars, W-A-R-Z, check him out. He's got this uh, interesting strategy on inside bars, etc. that's really kind of cool. And um, so today I'm going to show you uh, the Think or uh, Think or Swim script for this calculator and how you can do it on your own charts. It's going to be very exciting. I've been practicing and I've been uh, playing all weekend uh, to share this with you. So by the way, if you've never been to use ThinkScript.com, that's where you want to go for all the interesting. Uh, scripts that you can add to Think or Swim uh, to utilize a whole bunch of great tools uh, that can assist you in your trading. And so I believe it was this person right here, RKWCHU, that actually created this script uh, that I copied and I will share with you so that uh, you can then use it too. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to use it, not do it use it. So um, let's do it together. So what I'm going to do is, is um, I'm going to first show you how to do it with stocks, then I'm going to show you how to do it with options. And before we dive in, if you haven't already subscribed or give me a thumbs up or commented or asked a question, please do so and share this information. I hope it's helpful. All right. So for stocks, the first thing we're going to do is, is um, go to our uh, studies and strategies. And, you know, if you're a person like me that's already done a lot of research and you've downloaded some ThinkScript into your computer, but you don't know what you called it before. So what you can do is when you get into this uh, studies area, you can put user defined. And as soon as you start typing user, um, everything that you've ever downloaded uh, will be right here so that you can go through it and clean it up. And I noticed that uh, when I do that periodically, the ones I really like, I then rename um, and use my first name so that they're easy to get to. So uh, just a tidbit of info. So I call this uh, Sandra Risk Reward, and basically it is a calculator. And so I'm going to show you how to use that right now. All right, so Roku is at, on, we're on demand right now. Roku is at 423.72 approximately. So we're going to put the price is 423.72. And let's say I'm going away for the summer and I just want to buy some stock, $10,000 worth. And I'm willing to uh, risk 1000 which is 10%. And my ratio, my risk to reward ratio is going to just be one. And the reason is, is because this script already has built in a um, three to one ratio. And I'll show you. So I'm going to hit apply and say OK. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on a day chart so you can really see that good for the stock. And here you can now see that my stop they've identified, calculated basically for us, and then gave us a visual. Isn't that nice? Because I am uh, one of those all-encompassing learners. So you have your stop at 391.30. You've entered at 423.72. And the first equal amount of your risk is right here at 456.14. Your second target's 488.56. And your third target is at 520.98, which means that now you can go in, right, and uh, create a bracket 
an OCO bracket if you want it, and put uh, what your profit in, you know, your profit uh, target in, as well as your loss, so that you could just set it and forget it. Uh, or you can, you know, at least go in and um, put in a stop so that you can at least be protected if you wanted to let that run all summer, right? Okay, so just a couple examples. Now remember that this does have a long position as well as a short position. So if you wanted to short stop, you could do the same and put in the parameters and it will give you that same information. Um, so let's see if we did that. Look at that. That's cool, man. So if you wanted to short it, you're in at 423. Your stop's at 478.26. And here's your three targets. You can't tell me that's not like awesome. So if you want to do like, you know, the two for one, the two for, now you can see, right, what your three targets is as a twofer, so much larger. But like I said, the one is actually the three for one. It gives you three targets, equal amount of your risk size, which is quite nice that it's already built in like that, but you can adjust it. I don't think you can do halves. I tried to do like 1.5, I couldn't do it. So anyway, long or short, you're able to do it, and same for the options. So if you were lazy before, like a couple minutes before when I asked you to give me a thumbs up or like a, you know, a share or subscribe. So I hope like this just blew your socks off because it did for me and I was like extremely excited about this. So um, hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with options. So let's just say that we're going to go in and we're going to buy some calls. So you go to your trade and we have some pricing here, 865. We're going to right click it and we're going to either copy it or we're going to send it. And you can either send it to a tab of your choice or what I did was just uh, right click that and then go to my charts and then I'm going to go Command V, I'm on a Mac. And then you get the actual option contract chart. And I've never day traded this, which is interesting. I've never used this, but I'm, I might. Um, especially if it just kind of mirrors the, the chart, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter, aren't we? You know, we're really looking at our profit and loss uh, with our option. I don't know. I'm going to have to research this a little bit more. I'm very analytical about this stuff. I'm a Virgo. All right. So we have it up here. Now we're going to go to our calculator because that's what this is. And what do we say that was? I already forgot. Was it 865? Sorry. Okay, 865. So I'm willing to, um, let's go ahead and uh, say that we are going to buy five contracts. That's approximately 5,000. So if I hit confirm, it's 4325. That's perfect. I could just go ahead and purchase them right now but you get my drift and then when you go to your calculator you're going to say what I say 865 uh, 4225 oops 4225 willing to risk 300 a little less than 10%. My ratio is one. Hit OK. And here we go. So this is now the information that's auto automatically done. You don't have to calculate anything. It does it for you. So um, I accidentally done this as a short, so I'm going to go back. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you wanted to do that as a short, but uh, in my opinion, I my intention was a long just go right up here don't have to change anything but that and there you go your stops at 804 your first target you got in at 865 your first targets 926 your second targets 
um, 987 and then you're just going to just raise this up a little bit so you could see it and your third target is 1048. Can't tell me that's not cool. I'm going to share this script with you so that you can just do a cut and paste or share it right to your thinkorswim. It will either be in the Twitter or in the description. If I can't, sometimes uh, YouTube is weird. Won't let me like uh, type a HTTP into a, a website into the dis, uh, description, so I might have to do it in a pinned tweet. Keep your eye out for that. Hope you liked the content today. I sure did. Had a great time um, playing with it this weekend. I hope uh, you get to use it and enjoy it, and we'll see you on the next video.